Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and today I am back with, I suppose, sort of a tutorial, not sort of not in a way. Um, but do you remember the other day when I did the Gildan Flakes and then we covered it in the adhesive sheet, we put the flakes on and then because we still had the adhesive left, we covered it with glitter? Well, I had been thinking before I did the video about using embossing powder and then in one of the comments someone had left it was um, I'm sure it was a man and I really can't remember his name but he also come on and said do you think embossing powder would work and I said it's funny because I was thinking about that but I didn't really try it because I wasn't sure if it might I don't know ruin it or just kind of make the gilded flakes look dull and I said to him, well, I'm going to give it a try and I'll let you know. And I have tried it and oh my god it works. So here we go. This is one done. But I have heat embossed it. So the great thing is we don't need glitter. Because yes glitter is lovely but it is very messy. Um, and you always keep finding that. You think you've getting all the loose bits and then you'll put it on the table and there'll be still glitter all over the place. But yeah, <clears throat> I did the exact same thing. <clears throat> I just put the adhesive sheet on. We're going to do it in a minute anyway. But instead of putting glitter, I just used clear embossing powder. And I can't believe how it's turned out. It hasn't dulled the Gildan Flakes at all. In fact, I think it's possibly it could have enhanced them. Because it makes it now it makes it really glossy. So this is brilliant because you can use any colour card now. Because before... You know, you wouldn't really want to be using, say, a pink card and then covering it in black glitter because it would be pointless. Or you might not have pink glitter. This way we can do any colour card. <clears throat> so I did that one and then I did a pink one. So I just used pink card, did the Gildan Flakes in silver and then covered the whole thing in embossing powder. Because when you think about it, all you need for embossing powder to work is something sticky so double-sided sticky sheets or double-sided tape it just has to be sticky it doesn't have to be embossing ink it just has to be sticky so I am really pleased with this because I think this is um pretty cool actually so let's have a look I've got we're going to try a few different like colors and stuff so I think first off I'm just going to use a, a black card like what I did with that one and I have got my little sticky sheets here so we're gonna just peel it off and then we are going to stick it to our black card just like we did the first time And I can just trim that little bit off, it doesn't really matter. So I think I'm going to use this stencil and what I've done is because it has other patterns on, I've just covered it with masking tape, just normal masking tape because I don't want them other patterns, I just want this one here. And I'm probably going to just pop it somewhere like that. So I'm still going to do the same thing, I'm going to put embossing ink on the back of the stencil just so it doesn't completely adhere to the card and then I'm gonna just peel peel this off I'm just going to lay the stencil down where I want it. Okay, so something like that will do. Right, Gildan Flakes. I think we will go for these different colours. 
copper, gold, all sorts of colours. So just sprinkle a few down again. Whoopsie. And then first I just like to press them down with my finger first. Then I just take this little like pack and sponge thing. get the excess off and then we're now going to peel this stencil away so there's our stencil and obviously we're left with the excess tape which is what we then threw black glitter over but I don't want to do that this time. So I just took clear embossing powder. I've got this big tub of cosmic shimmer. And then all I'm going to do is just pick it up. And I am just going to tip the powder just all over here. And that is what you will end up with. Okay, I think it's pretty much covered. There we go. So I'm just going to pop that there and then I'm going to quickly put this back in the jar. And then I'm going to get the heat tool and I'm probably going to either speed it up or turn the sound off because it, it is quite loud. All right, so there we go. Now, I will say... I don't think it works the best with just a small stenciled image. I think it works better with, you know, something that covers the paper more because it obviously you would heat embossed it and you get this kind of like, I don't know, what is it? Like a kind of little bobbly effect with the embossing. But I do think it works better with a bigger area covered. But, um, yes so it does work so that's one we've done like as you can see here because we have a bigger area covered of stencil i think it works better but i just wanted to show you that that it does work so we'll do another one and i think this time we will try this lovely blue card so again, I am going to use my double-sided adhesive sheet.
just getting a few little creases in that there. Hopefully I might be able to cover that with the stencil. But I'm just wanting to demonstrate it to you really. And then I'm going to use this new stencil I got from Woodware. So I am going to put some embossing ink on the back again. this off <clears throat> and then we're just going to pop our stencil just over like that okay and I think this time I am going to go for the gold Right, so let's peel this off. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to have to ditch this paper otherwise all the embossing powder is going to have flakes in it. Now I think what I'm going to do is I don't know if it's going to work but I've got this Debbie Moore Print Magic Twinkle Star and it's kind of glittery. I'm going to add this on because it is a kind of embossing powder and you can put it on anything that's sticky so I thought it might add a nice glittery kind of effect if it works I don't know it might not put this away and then I'm going to try and heat set this and see what this turns out like. Oh, sorry the battery ran out. Now wow this one has definitely worked. The only problems I've got is I think a little bit of the adhesive it kind of tried to lift off when I pulled the stencil off. Um, and then the creases that I got in the double sided adhesive but hey apart from that that has turned out absolutely beautiful and it's got that gorgeous sparkle on it because of the print magic stuff but even if you've just got an, a clear embossing powder with glitter in you know you don't have to go out and get this um, I think you buy them in packs of three or something because I've got quite a few 
different other little colours of this but yeah I just wanted to try something else that works beautiful and it's all like kind of encapsulated now isn't it so that is another one they're just beautiful absolutely beautiful when you're embossing them as well now I prefer it much better to the glitter but as I said it, it does go better when you've got a wider area of stencil but then again with this one I think you could get away with this one because it has the glitter well the little sparkles it doesn't transfer off because it's been heat set in but yeah that is beautiful and then the pink one that I did there before so yeah I just wanted to share these um, and say you know we don't need glitter we just need clear embossing powder or I suppose whatever embossing powder you wanted to use I can't see why you couldn't use silver or but just bear in mind what colour flakes you're using because you don't want to have silver flakes silver powder you're not really going to see a lot are you you've just got to be just bear that in mind but that's turned out gorgeous so yeah really happy with this i'm glad i tried it now so yeah thanks for watching take care and bye for now